Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my first video looking at how we can use ChatGPT to generate code for Sonic Pi and create music that way. Um, I've taken a look at some of your comments, thanks for sending them in. There's a few cool things there I'd like to try myself and so that's what we're going to do in this video. Thanks for joining me, let's go. Okay, so I went to a Jacob Collier um, concert when he was in um, Sydney a little while back and I really loved his music so um, I might just use him as an example for to see where this style comes from so let's let's see uh, how would you describe Jacob um, music composition style Intricacy and innovation, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so cool. Technical prowess, creativity and genre-defying nature, making him one of the most exciting and innovative composers of his generation. Awesome, all right, let's see now if we can um, can you generate Sonic Pi code uh, in this style? Great, here we go. Look at this, we're going to attempt to capture some of the elements of Jacob Collier's music composition style for Sonic Pi. Use synth profit. Here we go. Let's pick them out. Got our minor pentatonic scale in there. This code includes four live loops, drums, bass, chords, and vocals. Oh, we got some vocals. <laughs> I'm really keen to see what this sounds like. All right, let's grab this code. Add some atmospheric sound to that. So let's let's ask it to reiterate. So um, can you try uh, that again with some more atmospheric? Uh, so like I'm, you know, adding some of my own thoughts into this now. More atmospheric sounds. Let's see what it thinks of that. This one seems to be a bit longer. I've certainly got more code, so whether or not it's... Um, well, it's still going. Okay, dark ambience. Cool. There's an additional live loop for atmosphere. Dense atmospheric sound. Using that dark ambience synth, that's cool. Uh, this code aims to capture Jacob Collier's music composition style with a more ambient and atmospheric sound while still incorporating elements of his intricate and innovative approach to harmony and rhythm. It's very detailed. That's great. Can you add more variety?
All right, just pumping it out. Let's let it do its thing. See what it comes up with. Oh, now we're seeing some effects in there with distortion and flanger. That's cool. I didn't see if they were there in the first one. I have to go back and check. That's pretty cool. That was a long one, whatever was going on there. Add some randomness and variation to the rhythms. Okay, and timing of the bass. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm basically to most things by the looks of it. And randomly selecting different synths and effects. Let's see how this sounds. Let's try and make that evolve more over time and then we'll stop it there uh, and then maybe in the next one take it a bit further or try something different. So let's go, let's go, um, um, great, thank you, ChatGPT, please, uh, can you make this evolve more over time? Cool. Uh, additional parameters of effects hopefully going to make this evolve more over time. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's that long one again. Check that out. <laughs> All right. Time-based evolution to the vocals. And I didn't really hear the vocals, actually. I haven't really been paying much attention to them, but create a sense of build-up and expansion over time um, and affect the atmosphere loop to randomly vary the room size and mix level of the reverb. Cool. And then we're still retaining the atmospheric experimental sound of Jacob Collier's music. Great. Let's give it a go. Hey, that was really cool. Um, I'm really impressed with how that came out. It was heaps better than the first one we did. Thanks for checking this out. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. Hey, if you've got other ideas, put them in the comments below. And um, yeah, look, thanks for joining me in this one again. Let's see what we can come up with for the next one.